cucumber haul. Hi guys, so it is moving week officially. We're so excited and as you can see our couch just got delivered, our brand new couch. So my husband's setting up the tripod and I thought we could time lapse it because this is our first piece of big furniture in the house. It's very exciting. We just have like a couple little boxes and totes here and there and stuff. But yeah, so we're gonna set up the couch and I will set you up so you can watch us build it and then we can see what we think of it after. Getting lost is time not wasted. As long as it's with you Unknown roads and foreign places That we're traveling through We could drive round in circles Any place will do Days and fears of purple in our cars review, and crowds are always few. When I get lost with you, we stray away from the avenue. So couch came out amazing, love, love, love. It's so big and spacious, which is exactly what we were looking for. So we're very happy with that. I have some of my gardening stuff. I'm just gonna go out there and check on the, oh, beetles, check on the garden. I, I haven't been out to the garden in a week and I am nervous to go see the state of affairs I'll be dealing with. I'm hoping it survived. All of the previous homeowners, good work, didn't go to waste. I also planted some, what's it called? This door. Hello. I also planted some sunflowers so we can, we can check those out and see what that's all about too. Okay, my gardening friends, I do need help with this. What, what is this? What is this? Is this eggplant? Am I gonna have eggplant here? I'm so perplexed by whatever this plant is. So any help on that would be great. These are the leaves, in case you need that for reference. Um, I'm so pleased with how my garden's looking, actually. As long as it's with you. Okay guys, I'm back inside now. I'm in my basement, in case you can't tell. But I couldn't film out there because, as you probably know, the kids are out of school right now. And so there were just a bunch of lovely children playing in their front and backyard in their bathing suits. Could not film during that, obviously. Also, look how beautiful this basket I have is. I'm just gonna put it right on my kitchen island, which is so exciting, but I know the lighting's bad. I showed you outside the basket of what I got, but really quick, let us do a cucumber haul. I got all these. One of these I think is bad. Oh yeah, this one's bad, I think. So let's just put him aside and let's hold all these. Got some irregular shapes. Now remember, I haven't been down here to my house in like a week. We're still in our apartment, so this is just what's happened in the week I was gone and haven't got to water the garden. So I'm just happy to have anything to be honest with you. But um, here's our surviving cucumbers. One of my lovely friends on here, you guys told me that actually when they get this big, this is the biggest one I've gotten so far, but when they get this big, this is actually too big. You're supposed to pick them before this point because then they can be bitter and whatnot. So I have like, I don't know. I picked a couple different ones just because I was like, you know, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. So let me know. Is this a good size? I feel like a, <laughs> I feel like a makeup influencer now. Look at that. But anyways, and then this one, I'm like, maybe this one's not good. Or is it just a weird shape? I don't know about this yellowing, right? But this one, 
You guys definitely let me know if I'm correct, but this looks like it's no good anymore. Probably got, maybe, maybe it got sunburnt or something. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, learning, but, oh, my strawberry collection here. I'm going to house these in probably two days. Freaking love strawberries. So I'm so excited to eat these. And I'm just so happy that they grew without me here. Oh my gosh. I just watered the garden and it's like, yeah, it's 3 p.m. I know it's a bad time to water it. I understand that. But I'm like, while I'm here, I need to water it. So I tried not to hit the leaves and stuff and just get like, the bottom of the soil. I hope that that'll be okay just till I get here. Like I said, this is like technically moving week. So the movers are coming Friday morning and then we'll officially be here after that. So I'm very excited to finally have that happen. But this strawberry collection I have here, my little strawberry haul. Oh, these are just like, they've been the best strawberries. Look how perfect these are. Oh my gosh. They've been so sweet and so delicious. I even have some bigger ones. So freaking cute. I'm so happy. Yeah. So anyway, I watered the garden. The tomatoes are still getting there. I know also I've read that you're supposed to pick them when they're green still and then they can ripen on the counter and I did that last week. I picked two but I think I picked them like two prematurely yet even though they were green. So I need to find the sweet spot there but they were actually doing well surprisingly and it's been so hot this week so I can't believe that they're okay but I'm also just really happy that they are because I was so afraid to come back to my garden and it just be destroyed and ruined. Please say a little prayer for me or put me in your thoughts that we don't run into a snake in that garden because the day we run into a snake is going to be the last day you see me in the garden for real i'm not good with bugs and insects but i'm really not good with snakes and spiders and things of that nature so let's hope we don't get to that point i just wanted to bring you along today like we just had a small day here just having our couch delivered and i wanted to tend to the garden a little bit that's the update this is the basement we're in this is going to be hopefully our billiards room and also our gym our gym is going to be on this side billiard room on this side so we'll see what happens the gym is definitely a big thing and it's going to be on this side uh, obviously it's unfinished in here and it'll probably stay that way for quite a while a lot of the home reno stuff we'll do is probably going to be like more smaller scale things because buying a house ain't cheap you know what i mean and so we need to recoup a little bit before we consider um doing bigger projects like finishing the basement right but I actually don't mind it looking like this it looks kind of cool um so we're okay with that but anyway I guess that's kind of my moving update for today that's all I have to share with you really I hope you enjoyed seeing this I hope next time I can set up the tripod and really show you the garden but like I said I have to just watch out for the kids first and I want them to be able to I love like seeing kids outside playing which is so beautiful you never see that anymore so I loved just seeing that they were just enjoying themselves out there. And so obviously I can't film. Um, but next time, hopefully we'll be able to be in there together filming all that good stuff. Later this week when we come back, we'll try again and try to get out there together. But that's all I have for you now. Thank you for being interested in more than just crochet. I know like for me, I have multiple hobbies. And of course, we all have lives outside of crocheting. But I just didn't know that you guys would be interested in sharing that side of life with me so i'm just so blessed to have you guys here and before i get emotional let's just say that i'm so grateful you want to see more than just crochet okay so anyway <laughs> that's our monday update i'm we're basically just gonna go home pack do boring things like that and that's gonna be it so that's all for now okay just kidding one more thing i do have to show you look how cute this is the family that owned this house before us put the whole height chart of all their kids as they grew up and then mom and dad are up there. But these are the kids' heights through the years that they lived here, which, which I just find that to be so special. That is something I actually like plan on leaving at least for quite a while. It's just, it's just way too cute to get rid of. So I'm gonna keep it for a while and see. I was like joking with my husband. I'm like, we need to add our heights, our heights to this height chart. But yeah, just a cute little touch. Piece of this house that I feel like really shows that there was a lot of love in this house and I love that. So we're gonna keep it for now at least and yeah, let it live on. Okay, that's seriously all for today. I'm sure I won't be seeing you again for the rest of the day, but I will see you soon and I'll, I'll report back on how my berries are. Salutations, my friends. It is Tuesday here today and I need you today because I need to do some serious packing up and I feel very overwhelmed at the moment. Packing is not my strong suit, like packing suitcases for trips and packing up a house, well, an apartment, whatever. Packing in general, 
I hate it. I get so overwhelmed. So you are here to help motivate me today. I think we're going to try to tackle the, the bathroom right now. And then like everything is just in a current state of duress. Like over here is crazy in the kitchen. The craft room I'm going to do with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm going to record that. And then the bedroom is unspeakable. Like I don't even want to show you it. I'm embarrassed. It looks so in shambles at the moment, but we'll get to that eventually. I do want to tackle the bathroom because there's a lot in there that we're not going to need for this last like week until we move. So I feel like it's a good time to pack it and put it away for later. So that's currently where we are on that. Look at this guy. Oh, just a kitty who doesn't even know that he's going to be moving this week. We got you a whole new house. Oh, so sweet. Say hi, Peen. You want to say hi to everybody, Peen? No. Okay, you don't have to. Oh, that was good enough. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I actually have quite a few medium boxes here in the bedroom. So that's quite cool. Maybe let's bring like two in there. That should be good for now. <laughs> I really should be using the larger boxes, but I kind of want to save them for the kitchen because I still have like my KitchenAid to pack, my Ninja. Like there's, a, there's too much stuff still unpacked for um, us to be moving later this week. Even like this area right here stresses me out. Like none of this is packed. I have so much stuff in here. Probably these are still full. Yeah, all of our puzzles and stuff are in there. Um, oh, look at this cute little coffee mug I painted for this coffee bar area. Anyway, yeah, so we have, um, we have a lot to do. A lot on our hands today. Uh, a lot of this stuff though, I have to remember like the movers are gonna move for me, so I don't need to worry about it. I've never had movers before, and so I've always had to like physically move everything by myself or me and my husband would have to do it by ourselves. So like the actual coffee bar itself, I don't need to worry about it. These chairs in our little sitting room area, I don't need to worry about it. But of course, all the other little things, I do need to worry about it. You are here to help me today. Thank you so very much. Also, I just wanted to say, if you are moving, have moved, whatever, in the process of moving, we'll be moving soon. If any of those above fit you, let me just tell you, like, you need these totes in your life because boxes are so expensive. And if you have a smaller car and you're moving with your smaller vehicle, if you just buy a bunch of these tote bags, one, they're very cheap, you know, 99 cents each. And two, you can fit so many more of them in your car and you can fit so much in these bags. Like, don't underestimate these bags. So that's my little moving pro tip. I've moved so much in the last five years of life, so much moving. So um, I have definitely come to learn that. My mom told me that and it has absolutely saved my booty when moving many a time. Anyway, I am, uh, I'm stalling, can you tell? I'm gonna flip on a podcast, a YouTube, I don't know what yet. Yeah, we're gonna pack up this bathroom. crept into the sky It filled the morning air with warmth and life Sounds of birds in harmony And you that thing to share with you These are just some of the makeup headbands I have Plus I have one that I'm using right now But why do we need seven? You know what I mean? Why did I need this? <laughs> and you that next to me okay still going at it we're making good progress though two things though I totally wanted to bring up as I was cleaning the bathroom and just put you on if you don't already use these things uh, first one is these grin tongue cleaners amazing if you've never used a tongue cleaner you need to buy these they're like three dollars for max at target and they will change your life so grin 
tongue cleaner. Um, be careful though, because it's literally disgusting what comes off your tongue. I'm not gonna go into detail, but these are amazing. And then if you are someone who's into essential oils, this is not the one I wanted to talk about, but these are the doTERRA um, roller blends. Yeah, roll on. This one is in Motivate here. Like this is what it looks like. But the one I wanted to mention is called In Tune. If you're someone who uses essential oils, like it's a very essentially oil smell. I can't tell you off the top of my head what's in it right now. I don't remember, but it definitely has, and I'm wearing an essential oil smell. But it's supposed to really help with focus and keeping you on track. And I have heard a lot of people tell me that they have ADHD and when they use it, it actually helps a lot. So I just wanted to let you know that you can try it out. I don't like... I don't work for doTERRA or anything like that. So this is just coming from me because I like doTERRA products, but you can buy them on Amazon too. It's kind of expensive. It's like maybe $45 or something, but it lasts you a really long time. So Motivate's okay. Like I really wouldn't say it makes a difference, but um, definitely love in tune. So I would highly recommend if you wanna like try something to help, or even if you just have like a mild problem focusing on things, maybe try in tune and see um, I'm not telling you it's an alternative to a ADHD medication. I have no idea. I don't have ADHD, but yeah, it's definitely helpful for me and I love it. But between that and the tongue cleaner, those are the two things I found in my bathroom and I'm like, you need to know about these if you don't have them. Okay, back to cleaning. Hey girl, good morning. It's Wednesday. Um, today is our last night in this apartment, which is a really insane feeling. I think I've told you guys we lived here for like, oh gosh, has to be like three years, maybe a little bit longer. Anyway, we have lived here quite a while. And so this is the longest in my adult life I have ever lived somewhere. So it's a very surreal feeling to know that tonight is our last night in an apartment, really crazy. But that's not what I came to talk to you about today. I just got back from Target, grabbed a cafecito, and I also had a couple things to pick up. Oh, my hair. Hello? You know how that goes, like with moving, you're just always picking up more things, I feel like. So I also needed eyebrow pencils. So let's, let's be honest, that's really why we went to Target. But I wanted to show you our hard work from yesterday, how it all looks now. So let me flip ya. Here is the current state of our bathroom. We just have our one hand towel for, you know, tonight and tomorrow. We have like one more use of that mouthwash. I just left it up there. Um, just my shine spray for my hair, you know, hand soap, my drawer. This is just like all my things I definitely need for tomorrow and stuff. And that's my husband's little drawer. Everything else totally cleared out, which feels really amazing to just have that done. Everything's off the countertop, all that's packed. I went to town cleaning this bathroom yesterday. So all this is done and then obviously I'll take the shower curtain down and all that. The rod is there so that'll stay. And that amazing shower head unfortunately is also theirs. But we did buy one very similar for our bathroom because we freaking love that thing. Then over here, this looks less cleaned out than probably you would think. I love one roll of toilet paper and two pods. And then this is all cleaning supplies. I have one wipe left in there, so I just left it. And then those are for the cat box. And then Mr. Finn will go in that tomorrow. So um, obviously that just all has to stay right now. But other than that, that's done. And then I'll just grab our little trash can and two bath mats. But yeah, so everything else is totally done. By the way, in case you were wondering, like this was our bathroom <laughs> and our washer and dryer is just right behind here. And I'm gonna run one more load today. So that is it for this room. Also yesterday, after I left you, I did a lot of the coffee bar. So I need to get that typewriter out of there. That's made of Lego. So that's gonna be kind of challenging. And then I have the fragile stuff up here yet. All that is my husband's problem. I'm not even worrying about that. I gotta put my candlesticks away. You know, we have stuff over here. Still, honestly, guys, a lot to do. Uh, and then it just looks like a absolute chaotic hot mess in here. We're not even going into that room yet. Right now though, I'm going to pack up my office and film my packing my craft room space and answering Q&A. So I'm probably gonna change for that. Like I'm not that comfortable right now. So I'm gonna be comfortable while I clean all this up. I'm hoping this doesn't take me too long because I wanna just jump right into the bedroom after I'm done with this room. That's kind of my update. I also have yarn everywhere and I just need to like, 
I feel like once this is packed up, I'll feel a lot better about myself, but like this all being the same is really causing me a great deal of stress right now. So that's why we got the coffee and I'm just going to start filming that. I'll show you guys the after of that. Um, and then if you wanna watch that video, I think it might even be up honestly before this one comes up. So I'll have it linked for you if you did miss it and you wanna see me clean up my craft room and answer some of your questions you guys have left me in the last couple weeks. So I'm gonna change into something more comfortable and then I'm gonna film that and, and I will catch up with you guys once I am all through with that. Okay, bye. By your side Through days of warmth I'm by your side Like the stars and the moon And the nighttime sky I'm by your your hand in mine, all wrapped up warm, sitting by the fire, this life is the best lift. Hello everyone, good morning, it is Friday, it is officially moving day, we are on our way back to the apartment now to meet up with the movers and have them bring everything, but I haven't shown you my craft room yet, so let me flip you and show you it empty before all the stuff comes in here. So... I'm gonna shut the door here. This is going to be our new space. This is a chalkboard wall. We're gonna have so much fun with this. I'm so excited to show you guys this more. Couple of the paintings and pictures I've bought so far. And yeah, this is the whole setup. Very nice, got two nice windows for filming. So it'll be nice and bright in here. And then I wanna show you these. These are the colors I'm choosing between to paint the walls. Right now, I think we're looking like this one's gonna be it but we'll see, they're picking up obviously a little bit different on camera, but definitely want like a light pink. I think that's so cute. And then really funny thing, I already showed Instagram, but I haven't showed you guys yet. So I'll show you in case you don't have Instagram, but look at this versus my husband's wall choices. This is what he's choosing between versus my pink. So you can tell the vibes and the style is quite different, right? So anyway, I need to go get changed. I'm gonna put my hair up. It's gonna be really hot here in Virginia today. And I'm gonna take you along and we're gonna go move out of our apartment finally. I'm so excited. It's about time. We like half lived here for two days. So we're ready to get all of our stuff, if you know what I mean. All right, I'll catch you at the, uh, at the old apartment. just went to the car but look look around walking in cold nights with your hand in mine all wrapped up warm sitting by the fire this life is the best living wild and free with you hey guys so i'm actually filming this on my phone because i forgot my camera <laughs> Life's been a little bit crazy right now, but I do just want to do a final walkthrough of my apartment, completely emptied out. And I thought this would be just a good time to show you guys also the whole thing all cleared out, nothing left in it. And so you could really see our space that we had. So let me flip you around and I'll take you for one last little empty apartment tour before we leave. Okay, so here's our bathroom. Here was our bathroom at least. Very nice. This was our connecting to the bedroom door and this was our washer dryer that I made sure to check. Both are totally empty. Yay. Okay, that's that. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast. Then we have here, this was our little linen closet. All cleared out as well. And let's move along. This was my husband's workspace, his den area here. And then you would walk right into the kitchen and living space. Here's our kitchen here. And everything's all emptied and cleared out. And then to the left, you could go this way. And this was into our bedroom. 
right here. And then this was our closet uh, through this door here. So that's that. That's our whole space. <laughs> It's so echoey in here now with no furniture in here. And I know the lighting is not good here, but at least the echo isn't in this room. I'm in the, the bedroom with the carpeting. It's the only place that has carpet in here. So we can at least kind of hear each other a little bit, but I think I'm gonna close up this vlog here, guys. This has just been a very chaotic week of moving, a very fast move, a great move, but still bittersweet a little bit. You know, it's always, sad to leave a space in a way when you had such a positive experience in the space. So I am very happy, but also I think it's okay to be a little bit sad too. This apartment definitely holds a lot of really good memories for me and I'm really excited for new memories in our house and all that good stuff. But I really just hope all of our good vibes and positive energy can be transferred into the new renters and they can have a wonderful living experience. Yeah, I'm gonna close it out here, guys. I'm about to go turn in my keys. This will be the last time in this apartment, but I thought I would show you really quickly the absolute best part about living here, which was the view. So I will leave you with the apartment view. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much if you stuck around to this point of the video. I really appreciate it. Again, I really appreciate your support. While my content shifts a little bit to moving for just a while, I promise we'll be back to creating and making things here very, very soon. But subscribe if you're new here. We do all things crochet. I upload on Mondays and occasionally on Thursdays. Share this with your other crochet friends or people moving. You know, we all need some motivation and momentum that eventually you get everything out and it does end up happening. Even when you feel like it's just never going to finally end, it does end. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for letting me take up a little bit of your time here on the internet today. And I will be seeing you in my next one. Now let me show you the view. And, and I will insert a couple of my most favorite photos I took living here of the view I had. Yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful week. I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye. You're right next to me. Oh, no matter where we go. Oh, my heart is yours to roll. Through all the storms, I'm by your side